Hello, fellow tappers. It's a little while for her. And today, I am coming back for part four of the Christmas 2021 update, otherwise known as the Who Done It update. So here we go. So today, oh yes, we're back for a special one because we're going to be unlocking Herb Tannenbaum, the the talking Christmas tree. I just can't wait for that one. So here we go. So we've done all the tasks. But we've obviously got the trivia left, and as usual, we'll go and answer the question. So in Series 17, Episode 9, Simpsons Christmas Stories, who does Grandpa spend Christmas Eve with when the Simpsons won't let him in? Is it with Mole Man, the raccoons in the dumpster, or the cats in the alley? And the answer to that one is the raccoons in the dumpster. So here we go. It's correct. So let's open the box we got Kwanzaa Dr. Hibbert. That's a great outfit. Hey, you! Does anyone know who that Let's is? Let's celebrate our heritage with a bottle of meritage. Kwanzaa Dr. Hibbert. Awesome. So here we go. This is the next part of the dialogue. If you're here to schedule a sponsorship for the race, please check in with our business office in the visitor's centre. What? The race is taking other sponsors? We had a deal. My Krusty Burger sponsorship is exclusive. Yes, but sir, you tried to pay us in gift cards to your restaurant, and the contract states that you must pay us in money. Money shmoney? Krusty Burger gift cards have value. Sure, the points diminish every week, and every week can expire after a year, and you can't use them on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Christmas, Christian holidays, and all the Jewish holidays, even the obscure ones that no one's ever heard of. So, never? <laughs> Look, why do you care so much about how I pay you? Isn't the whole point of this race to support Santa because he got injured or whatever? Yes, and what better way to support him than by making tons of money off sponsors so we can finally afford our own presents and give that dude a break? So here we go, this is Out Cold Part 4, and this is Herb Tannenbaum. But do you know how ridiculous you look right now? I'm a Christmas tree named Herb, and I'm not sure what the irony, irony, irony is, but it's going to be there. There we go, Herb Tannenbaum. So, part of the Holiday Who Done It set. Obviously, all these great things to come. Fantastic. So here's the next bit of the dialogue before the quest line. Well, I think we found everything we can find here at the crime scene. Where to next? Wait a second. Is that... Lisa, what's wrong? Why are you staring at that Santa? <gasps> what? Santa is back? He looks different. Ho, 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 Lisa Simpson. Didn't anyone ever teach you it's not kind to stare? I'm so sorry, Mr. Santa. I don't know what's gotten into her. She just must be traumatised over what's happened to you. Mum, this man is not Santa. I'd recognise that voice anywhere. Unhand my hat, you star-headed scamp. Oh, I love it, love it. So, Joe Bob, how dare you make fun of the shape of my daughter's head. Also, who are you to talk with your ridiculous dreads? Yeah, you look like you just walked out of a Counting Crows concert in 1993. Ooh. A burn that 90% of tapped out users are too young to get, even though the Counting Crows are clearly a bit ubiquitous. Sorry, I will pronounce that word again. Ubiquitous. <laughs> Sorry, I can't pronounce that word. I do apologise. Ubiquitous. Sorry, we're going to have to skip that word enough to make reference to. <laughs> That's quite funny, actually, how I can't pronounce that word in this context. So, Sasha Bob, what are you doing here? Turning yourself in? Because you obviously, you're obviously the one who hurt Santa. Oh, Lisa. So sweet of you to point your finger at the ex-con with a history of random and specific acts of violence. But alas, I turned over a new leaf. I have very little desire for murder and violence these days. I just don't have the stomach for it anymore. So why are you here dressed in Santa's clothes? 
I'm merely here for the role I was born to play. Chris Kringle at Santa's Village. Would you keep an old man from earning a living? I don't buy your I turned a new leaf act. Everything points to you. Motive, proximity, and, well, motive. Motive? What possible motive could I have? To take it over Santa and have an excuse to creep around inside people's houses? Pfft, that's ridiculous. I wouldn't. That's actually not the worst idea. <laughs> well, do you have an alibi for the night of the attack? As a matter of fact, I do. I was serving time in the Springfield Penitentiary. I didn't get out until the following morning. Man, everyone has such solid alibis these days. Yeah, plus everyone's got so much interesting stuff going on. <laughs> How is Gerald interesting? I don't know, but if someone asked me for my alibi, I wish it would be something cool. Instead it would be something super boring like doing the dishes or picking up the kids from school. <laughs> Let me tell you Marge, you don't want to end up in the slammer. Especially during Covid. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right, Sideshow Bob. Mum, don't be so casual in front of Sideshow Bob. He's our main suspect. Uh, really? It's just so obvious. Bad guy does bad thing. What's the twist? There we go. So the next video is going to be on Santa's Castle. Which is going to be very cool. I'm obviously going to be answering the trivia question and unlocking that one tomorrow. So please... Stick around for that. So here we go. Without further ado, let's get into the Herb Tannenbaum questline. Ah, oh, sadly no voice. Cool. Look at all the presents under the Christmas tree. Wow. Mum and Dad must have gone all out this year. I call dibs on this one. You can't call dibs on someone else's present. It's got my name on it. Not anymore. Mum... Bart's taking my presents again. Whoa, Christmas is a time for sharing. Ah, an alien. Oh, I'm not an alien. I'm a sentient arboreal, arboreal being. Specifically, the species Holod Holodeus Top Topiaricus. Name's Herb Tenenbaum. Nice to meet you. Lisa, why is the Christmas tree talking? Don't look at me. Maybe it has something to do with the water contamination from the power plant. <laughs> I don't think I'm okay with this. The only thing contaminating here is your downer Christmas spirit. Maybe an extra Christmas present will cheer you up. Actually, I'm fine with this. So, here we go. We've got to make Herb Tannenbaum give out presents. We've got to make Bart get excited and make Lisa get excited. Christmas spirit. So, here we go. So let's see what the animation is. Give out presents. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Ooh, he's giving out the presents. So he's walking around. I love his feet. His brown uh, legs and arms. Wow, so it just pops out of his mouth. That's so cool. So he's literally a uh, walking, talking Christmas tree that can just put out presents. That is awesome. What a great animation. And the way uh, that Herb walks is just so cool. There we go. So overall, really nice animation. To start it off. And we're going to do hmm, these quests cool. as well. Hello. And Bart? unlock the next Ray. bit of the dialogue. Hey, everybody. Cowabunga! Christmas Spirit Part 1. Whoa. You can make presents. You think Santa's the only one with presents? Between you and me, Christmas is kind of my gig. I let Santa take all the glory, because, you know, I'm not all into that. Right, can I have another one? No, Bart, it's my turn for a gift. You'll get your turn. Whoa, whoa, no need for violence. Here, have another present. <laughs> huh? Lisa, push me. What? I'm not going to push you. You probably have a hidden camera or something, so you can rattle me. Sorry, muscle spasm. Easy, little lady. Here, maybe a present to m mellow you out. <gasps> this is great. We can get endless presents. Slow down. 
You're like three presents ahead of me. Should we quit while we're ahead? I mean, who knows what will happen if we keep this up? Not until that thing spits out a pony. Make her, but Tannenbaum keep making presents. Make Bart keep pushing Lisa. And make Lisa keep pushing Bart. Here we go, he's keeping on making the presents. Hello. Cool. They're gonna push each other. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. <Yeah. laughs> oh, look at that, and the light uh, turns on after he's completed an animation. That's so cool. Need water. Uh oh, I think we broke him. I know I should have listened to my conscience. I'm the one who suggested stopping. You should have listened to my conscience. Don't worry, Herb. Here's some water. Oh, thanks. Making all those presents for you two sure was a lot of work. Sorry, man. We didn't mean to hurt you. But, uh, let us know as soon as you're ready to start again. No apology necessary. As long as you're all feeling the Christmas spirit now. That's all that matters. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. But the Christmas spirit shouldn't just be about getting presents, right? Herb, maybe there's something we can do for you, too. Now you're getting it. And as a matter of fact, there is. Could you help clean me? Ugh, like get your hard-to-reach areas? Nah, just stand back and try to catch whatever comes out before it runs back inside. I beg your pardon? Make Kerm and Tadabam do some cleaning. Gonna make Mark Bart get scratched by raccoons and make Lisa get scratched by raccoons. So I think this is a bit of a giveaway to what the animation is. Do some cleaning. So he's uh he's cleaning. Oh, there's a bird that comes out. There's a bird. I love that. I love the fact that the bird comes out. Oh, I can't believe it. Wait, where's, there's, no, there's nothing coming out. Wait. Oh, there we go. The bird comes out. That's awesome. But there was raccoons involved. I don't quite get that. Hang on. We'll just give him a chance. What's that bird? Maybe there's no raccoons. Oh, yes, there are. Yes, there are. <laughs> that is fantastic. What a great animation. My goodness. So there's birds and then there's raccoons. That is just... That is... Amazing. Wow. There we go. So that is Herb. And he does some cleaning. Very good. good that was brilliant. That was certainly a lot. <laughs> what? It was certainly a lot more amazing than I expected it to be. That's great. Hello. All right, Bunga. Sorry, Herb. But we weren't able to catch the raccoons. <laughs> Look at the marks. <laughs> and Bar as well. Speak for yourself. I got one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow. Well, um, it was certainly a short but sweet quest line, and overall, I think Herb Tannenbaum, the walking, talking Christmas tree you can make presents, was an awesome character. So, really chuff for that. Amazing. So that is sadly going to bring me to the end of this video. But please, I'd like to remind you, to check out my Patreon page, which will allow you to get early access to my videos for the just the equivalent of £1 a month. It would also be amazing if you could check out my Discord server, and there you can get involved with an awesome community and access giveaways, competitions, and loads more things. And it would also be amazing if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and good. Bye.